A new capability has been added to IronCAD 2024 Product Update 1 to lock a part or an assembly. If you select down to a part or an assembly and right click under Interaction, you'll find a new command called Lock. This is an extension beyond the Prevent Selection Below assembly, which still allows you to add geometry to two parts or assemblies that are in the scene. The lock, however, is a complete lock on the model. Basically, you cannot add any information below this model and you can't select below the model. So you can see a lock icon appearing next to the anchor on your part or assembly. If you try to modify that, for example, if we try to drop a hole onto that part, notice it will block or lock that from being edited. So that's what the lock command can allow you to do. However, you can still use the geometry for reference. For example, if we wanted to add a fastener to our model, we can still select down to our model edge and drop a, another feature onto this, for example, we're going to drop a, a fastener here with a different length, maybe some more thread, threads per inch on that, and add a nut and a washer to this model, and hit OK. That can still be added to the model. However, it will not go below this uh, particular assembly. It adds it to the assembly above it inside of the tree. You can also turn on an option in the uh, filters for the assembly design by going to more filters. There's an option to turn on the lock status as well. So this will allow you to visually see in the scene browser as well in the scene, which models are locked from being edited by the user from drag and drop or any type of modification from editing cross sections or pulling on handles are all fully locked in the lock command. This is added in product update one for 2024.